Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have decided that I wanted to blow the fuse in my multimeter. Actually I decided that long ago and it wasn't a decision that I thought about very long. I kind of just put the leads on to some batteries in the wrong mode and now it ain't working. So right now it should be measuring some power coming out of my power supply over here. But it's not. There is no connection whatsoever. So what I done, I ordered new fuses and I didn't just order one because, well, you might as well order a bunch. And this was, this was quite expensive actually. I forget the price. I will put it in the, put it somewhere. Maybe put a link to these in the description so you can go pick some up. And, well, these was caught by the Danish customs. They were a bit too expensive to just go in without anything. I had to pay some import tax for these, which was really irritating. I think that was twin, that was 33 kroners. It's not a big deal, but the post office, they have a, a fee for, for getting those money for the tax department. And that was 160 kroners. So there was an additional 193 Danish kroners onto these fuses just because they were more than $15. So I'm gonna take one out. And these are rather big fuses and it's 15 amps. And the idea of these fuses are that when they actually blow, they don't blow up inside of the multimeter. They don't do sh funny, stupid shit that can break the multimeter inside. And hopefully this fuse is very similar to the one that is inside the multimeter. So let's take the multimeter apart, see what we got here. I have removed two of the three screws and this last one, I always use this to press on. That's a little trick because with these watertight seals, it can be really hard to get, to get into there. But by pushing on the screw, it goes a lot easier. There they are. Oops. And here are the two fuses. And this is the one that is just like the one I just bought. It's actually very similar. So we're gonna take this one out and we're gonna see if it's blown. I think I have a little screwdriver right here. So let's take this out very carefully. Wonder how you do that. Hmm. Like that. Don't want to bend the plastic or anything or bend break this plastic so it's a bit hard to get down there but this is the one i thought is, is blown and it's a 15 amp fuse so we're gonna put in the other one and we're just gonna close up the multimeter again i put the screws back in i'm gonna put it back in the protective case here like that we're gonna put some the leads back on. That one goes in there. Let's put it over to amps and plug it in amps. And now that it now it's measuring something, and the power supply is actually trying to do the same thing. It says that it's giving out about yeah probably the same. Now we can see that if the vampage goes up, the multimeter also goes up. up to about 5 amps and let's just measure the, the fuse so here is the old fuse and that should not give any reaction whatsoever and it does not just push this together it's good so the fuse was broken and that's how easy it is to replace uh, the amperage fuse in a fluke multimeter and this is the fluke 85 generation 1 actually Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.